Okay, we're here at Comical Radio with comedian, writer, producer, everything. Just put everything. more splashes. Jim Mendrinos is in the building. How are you, Jim? I'm doing good. You guys can't see this because he's on the other side of the camera, but the equipment is huge, man. There's this huge camera. It's like Spielberg huge. And I'm holding it without a tripod or anything. No, this is, it, it requires a set of testes just to even hold that camera, man. Yeah. So this can't even go on for that long because no. my shoulder will be in pain. No, man. You know what? I'm, I'm surprised you don't walk with a hunch. No, I do. I do. do you? But you're going to have to bring the hotness in the next, like, 30 uh -oh. seconds. Because I can't... Uh, hotness. I can't that's sustain. That's as much as I can do. Just hotness. Just say it. Does this, does this work for you? Hotness? So what's going on? You're on the radio, man. What are we going to talk about? Uh, I think... You know what? Every once in a while, Danny just calls me in to prove we, we don't have a feud, but I think we have a feud. This is like an unspoken thing between Danny and me. I don't know what it is. Don't, I don't feel... Know what, you, you know what it was? Years ago, I used to... You know, I used to have this show here on Baruch. Uh -huh. And then I, when I graduated, I left Baruch. And then Danny comes in and takes it over. And I think there's a little competition thing there. So Danny took over your show? Uh, about 15 years after I left it. But yeah, there were a couple of guys in between. So this was the, the initial comical radio right here? Uh, no, he changed it to comical radio. But this time slot, afternoons on Fridays... That was my time slot. So you're saying everything that I Danny had, has... I had noon to 5 p.m. He owes to you. I don't think he owes it to me as much as it's an homage to me. On that note, have a wonderful time on Comical Radio, He's my He's got to put down that heavy camera. Man, you're going to get a hernia from that carrying that camera. You know that, don't you? Thank you for looking out for me, man. You're the only one that cares. I know, Nobody cares. Nobody writes. Nobody calls. You know, I was on, I was on there with Danny for four and a half hours. Do you think you would have said something nice? One thing? No. Nothing? Nothing. It was just all all gabs and jokes and who do you know. And But he credited you for writing The Idiot's Guide to Comedy. That, that he did. And, you know, he did acknowledge that I am the Lord High Ruler of the Comedy Universe. But other than that, there was nothing. That is a pretty, pretty big honor to be well, bestowed upon. You know, we, we, we transfer it all the time. You know, when I'm out and Christian's in, he'll be the Lord High Ruler. So you Whoever think it's is all in fake. that guest chair... It's fleeting. It's not fake. It's fleeting. There's a small difference. Danny. <laughs> what an obnoxious uh, human being. Jim, thank you very much for coming you. at Comical Radio. Thank you. And you know what? You need to see a doctor about that hump. I'm going to try to do it. All right. Take care.